an idea has absolutely no significance or meaning unless somebody makes it their own. How can an idea be taken forward? And how can an idea be shared by everyone? Hi, my name is Jasmine Bateja and I'm an artist facilitator based in Bangalore. I facilitate Blank Noise. We are a community of what we call action sheroes, heroes, deros, citizens, people who are taking agency to end sexual and gender-based violence. Blank Noise started in 2003 in a climate where street harassment didn't have a vocabulary. It was called Eve Teasing. The first project was bringing all the girl students into one room and sharing the word public space. And in less than three minutes, we had largely negative associations to look at. For over a decade, we worked specifically to draw attention to street harassment, all the way from recognizing it, spotlighting it, building testimonials for a public to understand that this is something that does affect us. One half is about building testimonials of sexual violence and finding ways to do so. The other half designs public interventions based on what we've heard and listened into from what women and survivors of violence have shared. I see it as an ongoing public conversation. And I said I want to be able to sleep in, in a park. And I remember while trying to sleep, waking up to sound and realizing it's just a leaf. And then again waking up with deep fear and it realizing it's just a dog. What if we proposed trust as a given rather than defensiveness as a given? That's when I just lay there imagining thousands of women sleeping in the open, sleeping in parks, and wondering what would happen if we did this? What would happen to women and their bodies? And what would happen to public environments and parks and whether it's open fields to witness women sleeping? 16 दिसंबर को बगीचों में जाएंगे धूप सेकेंगे और अपने डर से छुटकारा पाएंगे इस इवेंट पे हम सोएंगे और अपने अंदर के डर भय और झिझक को दूर करेंगे इससे मुझे लग रहा है जैसे आसमान में चिड़ियां उड़ते हैं खुले जगह खुले आसमान में वैसा ही मुझे भी महसूस हो रहा था A lot of times people say this was so simple. What stopped me from doing this all my life? My far uncle was home and he was being inappropriate with me and he was being touchy with me. And of course, I went to my mom. What else would a child do? She yelled at me. Your stance, your behavior, all of that represents a person who wants attention from men. I really don't know how to talk to my parents because I thought I would be blamed for it. I used to wear burqa at that time. I started wearing leggings so that he doesn't see my legs. I never ask for it. Uh, invites us to bring in that one garment women wore when they experienced violence. That garment is memory, is witness and is voice to that experience of sexual assault. What we're working towards is 10,000 garment testimonials to stand in front of India Gate by 2023. We'd like to shift what has happened at a community level consciousness raising to larger public level consciousness raising. It holds value to co-create processes that build empathy. I feel safe when I'm being heard. I feel safe when I'm being believed. I feel safe when I don't have to justify and defend and justify and defend myself over and over again. And I, Action Shiro, am your safe space as you are mine. I never ask for it. So whether we're learning to be idle or whether we're sleeping in parks, it is coming from a place of imagining, desiring. One action shiro's participation is inviting another action shiro to join in. That's the shift we seek.